What's going on guys? Welcome back to another Chaos Draft here on Magic the Gathering Internet. This pack is stacked. We got a Baleful Liege, which is pretty good. That's actually pretty insane. It's probably going to be the pick. And then if, if Sen's Enlistment, Flame Jab, or Unmake come back, or even the Battlegate Mimic, I'll be very grateful. This card is bonkers. I do have a roommate named Felipe, and you spelled it correctly. That's unbelievable. The DNA test results are in. My friend will explain. Felipe's not your dad. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus. That's actually pretty funny. I don't know why. Oh, God. <clears throat> when Des Destructor Dragon dies, destroy a non-creature permanent. It's a 4-4 four -four floater. Another other creature on his battlefield under your control, target creature under control is the neg one, neg one. That's good. Both of these are not our colors. Wild Slash is our color. So I'm tempted to just take a Wild Slash here. Also, guys, I get a haircut tomorrow. Isn't that exciting? Aren't you guys excited? I'm excited. I'm just tempted to take the Wild Slash. Whenever you cast a red spell, it deals 3 damage target player or Planeswalker. That's pretty good. Yeah, I'm just going to take the removal. That goes with our first pick. Uh, this guy's actually very good as far as I remember. It's 2-3 three for 3. Whenever it attacks, add a red at the beginning of your main phase. Then you can transform it for 5 into a 5-4. That adds 2. Yeah, that guy's really good. Brazen Wolves also fine as a 2-3 that becomes a 4-3 on attack. I think we're going to go with this gentleman. And we just have a uh, pretty basic uh, Philippe's not your dad. Oh, Volcanic Hammer? That's pretty good. Sustainer of the Realm also pretty good, but hey, you turned down a Volcanic Hammer. Some things are going down. Philip's not your dad. Uh -huh. do, 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 do. Yeah, I think it's got to be Volcanic Hammer. Like, four mana flyers with two power are pretty easy to come by. Three damage for two mana, not so much. Oof. Dominaria, very strong set. Very lackluster pack. Do we just take the fire elemental? Eh, it's probably Adamant Will. Adamant Will's a, a reasonable trick. This this pack is not ideal though. I don't care about a fire elemental. Philippe's not your dad. <laughs> Yeah, Death Room is pretty good. I agree with you. I don't want to be black, though. This guy's going to be pretty hard to cast if we're just red. Triple red is not ideal. What up, Doomsday? It's your boy, Doomsday. I don't know where we're going with that, but it's over now. So we can all rest easy. Guys, I'm going to be gone between Wednesday to the next Tuesday, unfortunately. So, you guys are going to have to give me some sub love on Wednesday when we get back next week. It's going to be rough. I bet we're going to go down to like 340 or 320. It's going to be brutal. I am not looking forward to it. It is going to be a... So we're going to miss Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Monday, and Tuesday, basically. Five days. Ugh. God. But Cube comes out the week after next, so that's pretty good. Whenever you cast the Spirit of Arcane spell, you may put a 1-1 counter. You put a Faithful counter on it. If there are two or more, flip it. A key counter, not a Faithful counter. Comes a 3-4 flying. I have to read this upside down. This is really obnoxious. 
Uh, remove a key counter from Castle. Prevent all damage that would be dealt to the target creature. This actually seems pretty good. It's a 2-2 two, two for 3 at the worst. Each enchantment deals 2 damage to his controller, then each aura deals 2 damage. No, nope, that's garbage. Deals damage equal to number of arcane spells in your graveyard. That's nothing. Yep, we're just going to take this guy. Maybe you can do it with your haircut. That's actually not bad. That's not bad. Exile X cards from your graveyard. I actually like Harvest Pyre a lot. I do like Rally the Peasants, though, especially with blue, especially if we can kick it. This is a spirit. I mean, if it doesn't flip, it's a 2 2 for 3, but the, uh, the, the, uh, the potential of when it flips is pretty good. Yeah, Rally. We're going to just take the Rally. It's also an instant. 2-2 two, two for 4. When it becomes blocked, it gets plus 2, plus 2. Mm. Mountain that cycles. Okay. Congregate gains us life. Eh. Why is this guy a weaponsmith? He has no weapons. Do you only use the weapons when people block you? Oh, the mimic came back. That's pretty good. This is a 2-3 flyer. Destroy an enchantment. We can also persist. That's not bad. That actually might be better, to be quite honest. Yeah, I think that's actually better. That's more versatile. Versatile. Uh, when it, I want to destroy an artifact or put a 1-1 counter on it. That's actually just fine. Card creature is plus one, plus one. Sure. Hey, we did get the gardener back for the memes. That's pretty good. Whatever. Oh, it is a spirit. I like it. Our faithful squire is getting better and better. I think for pack one, this deck looks pretty good. And we don't have a third color, so... Isn't that nice? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I wanna wish you a Merry Christmas. Common Reckoner. The old Common Reckoner. A classic. Uncommon Reckoner. Yeah, so you're going to want to look up uh, Kaiso Memory of Loyalty instead. That's the one you're going to want to look up. Ooh. Equal the number of arcane cards in your graveyard. So literally, is it? I don't even know if it counts itself. I'm just going to take the Aura Barbs. Guile. Oh, I guess we are in three colors after all. I like Oblivion Ring. It's probably Oblivion Ring. Fiery Fall. If Fiery Fall or Re Restless Apparition come back, I'll be okay with that. Otherworldly Journey could be good too. Oh, Angel of the God Pharaohs. 4-4 four, four flyer for 6 is pretty good. What does is, what is Resolute Survivors do? 3-3 three, three for 3. You may exert it as it attacks. Deals 1 damage to each opponent and you gain a life. Whenever you exert a creature. Okay. This is also better with Baleful Liege. Hmm. I think it's either this or this. I think this is a, just a better flyer than this. 4-4 four, four is obviously better than a 3-3 three, three with cycling, so. But a 3-3 three, three for 3 is good, and it's a 5-5 five, five with Baleful Liege. Hmm. This is also a 5-5, five, five, but it costs 6 versus 3. I'm going to take this, and maybe this guy comes back because it's a red-white. I think that could be a, a reasonable strategy. The 33 might wheel. All 33 of them. That is likely accurate.
Rurikthar. Wow, this guy just can't can't follow can't stop following us. This pack is pretty bad. I think Wear Tear is probably the pick here. Like we can't really play anything other than Riot Control and Wear Tear, so. I guess we could take a clue stone. It still ramps us to like Baleful Liege. Uh, we probably wouldn't be able to crack it though. Yeah, I'm just gonna take the Wear Tear. It's a nice sideboard card. Shock. Mog Fanatic. Lava Born Muse. At the beginning of your each opponent's upkeep. If that player has two or fewer cards that hand deals three damage to her. Three, three, three for four is actually pretty good. My problem with Rurik Thar is that the card is sometimes not better for you than your opponent. Like, especially in Limited. Oh, and, it, and being a spirit is actually super relevant. Yeah, I'll take that over a shock. That's a, that's pretty good. Mirror pull. Uh, instant sorcery. Credit token. This copy of creature control. It's actually not terrible, but the odds of us having a colorless land. Gain control target creature. Gains haste until end of turn. Support two is a very good bonus. Tap it on tap alley. Draw, discard a card. Draw a card. Tap it on tap alley. Gain two life. Tap it on tap alley. Tap target creature. We're not going to have many allies. I can pretty much assume that. I think it's just press into service. Support two is pretty good. Yeah, but we're not going to have the colorless mana to actually activate the the mirror pool, unfortunately. Plus one, plus one attack taxi turns to able. No. Meh. Whenever another creature enters the battlefield under your control, plus one, plus one. Yeah, Gold Knight Commander is actually pretty good. Nope. Destroy a land that deals one damage to each human creature. I mean, we're not going to play any of these cards. Mm. Five damage. Yeah, that's pretty good. We're going to take the... the five damage. Hodor. Hodor. Spoilers, man. Fiery Fall came back. That's pretty cool. So did the Journey. Sickle Slicer also came back. Sickle Slicer might be the pick here. I almost like other Rolly's Journey just to protect our Balefire Leaves. Like, if they try to kill it, we can just blink it. Hmm. I'm going to go with the Slicer here. I feel like... Oh, the Resolute Survivors came back. Gas. Instant Snap. I like Journey, too. I'm, I, I... I don't know. I wanted this this pump card, but I'm, it might have been incorrect.
Oh yeah, here we go. I'm gonna take this more burst. This card is actually great, and if we have a way to splash it, top tier. Mm, yeah. I also like Spawn Binder Mage a lot. This is very helpful at the PT. Nope, you're trash. Nope, just Chuck Testa. What do we got here? Baron Glory. At the beginning of your upkeep, if you control no permanents other than this and have no cards in hand, you win the game. Crying out loud. Sacrifice you gain four. Use it only during your upkeep. That's weird. Limit field thread. Two two, and then you can flip it. Make your guys big. Creature control plus plus one plus one gain vigilance until end of turn. That's actually not bad, especially for the cycling. <clears throat> I think we're just gonna take Marshalling Cry here. You think it's Luma Thread Field? Hmm. I like Marshalling Cry because you can cycle it. Oh, Fire Cannonade. Lightning Rig Crew. I don't think we have enough... I don't think we have enough Pirates in our deck to really make that worth it. Pirates Cutlass could be good. Plus two, plus one is no joke. I like Inspiring Cleric a lot here. Yeah, it's probably Inspiring Cleric. It's not unblock. Well, I mean, it's 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 a it's essentially a one five blocker, unblockable. Yeah, I, I think that's reasonable. It's probably better than the gain four life, I guess. Hot of Free Blade. That's another uh, that's another ally for our Spawn Binder Mage. It's literally probably the only pick in this pack that's any good. Quicksand could be all right. It's not. It's not Battle Herda, which I don't know what it is. It's not Bull Rush, which probably has a Battle Herda on it. Could just be Marsh Threader. Yeah, it could just be the Swamp Walker. Godo. If only we had... Oh, we do have an equipment, actually. Search the library for uh, an equipment, put it on the battlefield. If you do, shuffle your library. That's actually... Yeah, Goto's actually pretty nuts. <laughs> I do not mind that. Destroy an artifact or enchantment if this was kicked, deals damage field permanent convert a mana cost target creature. That's actually pretty gas. From the next one damage dealt to any target this turn. Meh. Yeah, we're just gonna take Orm's Thunder. Thunder. Th -th Thunder. Oh, oh, Orm's Thunder. I hope the Pirate's Cutlass comes back so I can have two targets for Godo. I'll take the Gardener out. After all, it was just a meme.
lightning and a thunder. Thunder. Th -th thunder. Lightning and a thunder. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. Good times. Good times. Is thunder a command? Oh, Corona's Zealot. Target player sacrifices a permanent. Sacrifice a one permanent. All right, I'll sacrifice his land, I guess. Whenever a creature deals damage, kills conscious damage, damage to that creature. Okay, well, that's sad. You can't cast this if you play to land this turn. You can't play lands if you cast this. All right. <sighs> Might just be this guy. When it's flipped, all damage that we dealt to it is dealt to the target creature instead. Yeah, that's good enough. Man, if we were splashing black, woo. Put a fake counter, exile target creature that's a fake counter, then return to the battlefield so you blink it. That's not great, actually. I'm not a big fan of that. Boulder Fall is pretty good despite being huge. I'm going to take the God's Willing, though. Uh, one three monk defender with first strike. That's where you want to be. Does five damage to the target if you control no dragons? He deals two damage to you. I don't think we need that. It might be better than press. It's five damage. I kind of like territorial rock though. Ugh. I also have vial of dragon fire, which is a thing we could use. I think I just like having a one three blocker. Block it, blocky boy. I think Lightning Rig is probably going to be one of the easiest cuts here. It just doesn't do a lot for us. Orum's Thunder is probably sideboardable. Yeah, hey, Lumith Redfield came back. Just in case that does anything for you. Oh, the Cutlass did come back. Alright, that's pretty good. I like having two artifacts for a Godo. Defiant Ogre is pretty terrible. We need one more cut here. I don't care about Weaponsmith. That guy's actually hot doo doo. <sighs> Stone Rain. That's broken. We got Stone Rain and Goblin Gardener. I just spilled a little on myself because I don't know how to drink properly. Did Sweet Boy Mike be go to the corner store? He did last night. He was like, Sweet Boy going to the corner store. Frank, my head hurts. That will be all. Well, that's something. This is the 12 creatures, but we also have a Sickle Slicer, which is a 13th creature. <sighs> he did come back from the corner store. He did make it back. All right, I'll have the lightning work for the press into service if that makes you happy. But I mean, we have no way to we have no other pirates, so I think support two is really strong. I wish we had a way to sacrifice things. How many ways do we have to just like kill a land? Right, we have Goblin Gardener, we have. All right, you can get over there. Um, misguided Rage is probably going to hit a land. Stone Rain. I guess three. 
That seems like a lot for a limited deck, though. Yeah, I'm just going to go 9-8 here. All right, I'm diving right in. Oh, it actually doesn't have Defender, so if you get the the Pirate's Cutlass, it is a 2-6 attacker. Which is not nothing. Who do you think you are? I'm gonna mulligan this hand, that's for sure. Mulliganos, the god of mulligans. Oh, if we can get a white source, we can go... Oh, I thought this was the spirit. Nah, it's still fine. We got the conduit. Into lady. Lady! I'll keep this hand. They went to five on the play? Woof! We're on the draw. I'm going to be greedy. Oof. This guy also helps us cast the lady because we have the... Gives us the extra mana, so... I wasn't too concerned with the fourth land. Return it from your graveyard to your hand. Sanitarium. I gotta be careful. Metallica will definitely demonetize my video. Lava Warm is, is pretty rough against the Mold of Five. Um, we're definitely cycling this Marshalling Cry. I think any random card is better than it right now. And we also flash it back, which is pretty versatile. Wow, where were you last turn, you stupid idiot? Uh, this guy's just better than Conduit if we're not doing anything else. I'll take one. Stupid idiot bird. <laughs> I don't know why that was so funny. <laughs> why don't you get out of here with your stupid bird life? I imagine they have a shock or something. No exert. Lars Ulrich needed that Napster money. At least he made it. That's true. That's a good point. Better late than never, Burb. Can you guys hear that? It's me messing with the lid of the trash can. Plus two, plus two, and haste. You got it. I will not block that. Get in there. I guess we just play rock and conduit. The rock and conduit. And that's what, then they're going to untap and go Anger of the Gods. And I'm going to be like, well, that's a good way to unmulligan. <laughs> uh, you wouldn't sing a car on stream, would you? Well, I think, that, I think the meme would be you wouldn't steal a car on stream, would you? Right? You guys want to rock and conduit? All night long. Was watching your cast rounds and saw Mike boasting about his taco intake. I'd love to introduce my roommate who downs forty dollars worth of Taco Bell by himself. Seen him get kicked out of the Chinese buffet for eating a six heaping plate. He mans the bottom the men's bottomless pet <laughs> that would be awesome, dude. I think we just alpha here. 
with the intent to flip this gentleman. You better run, you better do what you can. I'm a constant, consistent 2 a.m. YouTube watcher, but can really catch the stream. Sorry about not resubbing terribly often. College is happening, and I always forget to hop on and pitch in. Thanks for entertaining me after long nights of engineering. Here's my sub. Thank you so much. Kelser, thank you so much, man. really appreciate it. Don't even... Why didn't you attack? I don't know. Oh, no. Well, instead of being at two, they are at five, which is worse. Unless they want to kill this guy. Flashback. Yeah, it's a sorcery card, so you flash it back at its as as its at its card speed. If it's an instant, you can flash back as an instant. You're literally just casting the spell from the graveyard, so. Wow. That was very rude. Man, could have been at seven. Why didn't we exert? Why would we exert? Whenever you exert a creature, it gain it deals one damage to each opponent and we gain a life. So we would exert it to deal one and gain one? That doesn't seem great. When we deny the ability to attack next turn. Well, we got this God's Willing. I still feel like they have something in hand because they attacked into our 3-3 in game in like 10 turns ago. So, I'm just going to play Lightning Rig Crew. Keep up God's Willing. Uh, we didn't exert because we thought we played by Lava... We, we thought we also activated Lava Crew. Like, I or Lava Born Reaches. Lava Born Muse, oh my god. Lava Born Reaches. Jesus. Also, definitely wasn't forced. Like, they could have any number of tricks. They had four mana up. Like, there's no there's no reason that they would have double blocked there. Like, they could have had anything. Haste provoke. Okay. We'll let that trigger. And then we'll block, and we're going to pro, pro red. And bottom. I will put you on the bottom. So we have three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, this is lethal. Nope, it's not lethal. It's actually one shy of lethal. Well, we have reached the portion of our show where lightning is happening. Thunder, thunder, literal thunder outside is happening, so. Thunder. Th -th thunder. We didn't see any artifacts or enchantments, so. You needed to ping? I mean, that would have put them to one. Like, we still could have pinged. <laughs> like, that's what we were waiting for. But if we ping, we don't get to attack. None of that makes any sense. God, I love chat lethal. It's the best. We did we swamps? I have no idea what's going on. 
This is barely English. Yeah, we can bring in the 2 1 Swamp Walker. That guy's fine, but. There you go. There you go. We did it. It's been a long day, okay? All right, I forgive you. I'll let it slide. Does your name translate to cat home? Gato Den? Because it should. I'm considering changing my pro wrestling persona from Gloria St St Stefan to Chad Lethal. Chad Lethal seems great. with the shadows of the night we'll come through in the end lightning blast put you in the graveyard ready ready be ready how much chug could a mic up oh, there it is oh homing lightning how nice Well, that's not terrible. Ah, uh, chat lethal strikes again. This guy is fire breathing too? Yeah, because they all do. Eight lands, four spells. Classic. Classic! Yep, it's fantastic. Keep the lands coming. I think 10 lands is really what we want to aim for here. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. All right, we're just dead to literal... Yep. Mm-hmm. Yep. My winner, it's pretty good considering my decks are 78% lands. Yep. Let's go to one. Pay in it. Play an idiot. Like, there's nothing in our deck that deals with both of these. And a land is not it. 10 4. That's a 10 4, good buddy. Now we are bringing this guy in. All right. Fantastic. Um, press into service could be good. Might have actually been able to kill them there if we pressed into service, but... Take out the Kithkin, we'll bring in the press into service. Undrum Tuna, have a good rehearsal, buddy. I will play first. Oh, yeah, there we go. Now we're talking. Geepsies. I don't know if this hand's great or not. I don't know if we're talking or not. No, while selling ice cream. <laughs> Gas. Did we go to 41? I don't care if we did. I mean, it's totally fine. We we go to 41 pretty consistently, so. 
I actually think it's fine if you if you know if you draw ten lands and four spells in one game, just go to forty one cards. You'll uh, offset it just a little bit, unless you draw all white spells. No blocks. <sighs> hey, look at that. Three eighty one. Woo. Up, oh, didn't mean to do that. <laughs> Doesn't matter, I guess. Okay. Wow, magic's a hard game sometimes. Thunder, da da thunder. Yep, this is pretty aggressive. Conduit of Stormaze. We just play this guy and equip this to here, making it a 4-2. Now we have profitable blocks for both guys. I think we can attack here. If they attack with both, play like a dragon. We can deal 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. We put them to 6. That's pretty good. Wow. Mono haste thought deck over here. All right, well. Get rid of you and take six, I guess. I'm sure you'll have a way to kill this guy. Yep, of course you did. Oh, boy. Well, yeah, I always put the always put the counter on that thing. Come on, don't be stupid. All right, they have three cards. We're probably dead here. This guy's a 5-4. Yeah, we're just going to... I mean, this guy can actually bring us back in the game. If we can survive this turn and keep it alive. And we can't. Amazing. So I'm pretty sure we're just dead at two. I don't feel safe at two life. Wow. They're just going to untap and kill us, I guarantee it. Lightning you for four. Balefire Leash, I hardly knew you. And that's game. All right. They drew a guy and we did. We drew a friggin' land. Fantastic. Oh, another land. A wild slash. That would have been fine. All right. Well, our sweet deck. Not so sweet. This hand seems great. What up, Spazio? Good to see anybody. Keep. And pass. Keep 
Can you guys hear that thunder? Thunder. Da -da thunder. Spazio will always be Spazio. Bjorn, what's going on, buddy? Swedish Mike. Love it. <laughs> Love it. Oh, good times. You ready for that stupid idiot bird? Here he comes. Okay. Well, I don't want to. What do I? What do I want to block this guy with? Probably Corona Zealot, maybe. I don't know. Got a zombie, a big star. What a young boy. Pass it up. What are you discarding? Frost links and a looming hover guard. Be careful with those five spells because you're not drawing anymore. That's true. I have to use them efficiently. Oh, they got the red. Yep, that's a good one. That card was insane in cons. Oh, we're going to get some two free points in here, I believe. I think they just take two here, for obvious reasons. <laughs> what a young man! Sing the nip dip. Oh, let's try again. Let's try Flippy Doo again. Do the Flippy Doo. Scootin' doo 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 doo. Uh, what does it say? When it's turn face up, all damage to be dealt to turn to uh, you instead. Oh, you had something. How nice. Lucky, 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 lucky. How incredible. Why you want to bounce this guy? I would just I feel like that's better, but what do I know? I guess you'd this guy would die, wouldn't it? I don't know, magic's hard, man. That is fine. Just getting that guy off the board is good. This looks like it flies, but it does not fly. Don't be confused. Don't get it twisted. Discarded Pillar of Flame. That means your three cards in hand are better than Pillar of Flame? That's terrifying. That's unimpressive. Chandra's... Getting real friggin' annoyed by this game.
Well, maybe Lava Worm Muse can go the distance. So many non-lands. <laughs> yeah, I went down to 14 lands. Yep, sure. Who do you think you are? About a big star. I mean, this Lava Born Muse is a pretty quick clock. And we, I, I like keeping Adamant Will up because it lets our Lava Born Muse survive a lot of burn. Burny burn burns. Oh, that's old. Burny burn burn. I mean, if they have a spell that deals three damage to Lava Wormies, I assume they'd use it, but I guess they're just going to counter this and kill our guy instead. Oh, they're just going to draw two. Okay. And that's the end of the game, I guess. All right, that was fascinating. I didn't think they were in that bad of shape. They had three cards, like, but this is a... I mean, they have three cards, so they're not going to get hit by this again. That was weird. They stole our guy with Switcheroo, and they still... Uh... Hmm. Fascinating. Do we see any artifacts or enchantments? Why would you declare blockers before casting the will? I don't know. <laughs> you got me. Yeah, this is fine. We got a cycler around the draw. We got a two drop. Man, Merfolk looter every game. That's a good one. Kill it with fire. How come it's not a bird pirate? That's my question. Where my bird pirate at? No, a lot of times you want to block first and then pump the creature after blocks are declared because if they have a removal spell you still get the block in, right? If they have a counter spell, you're in worse shape because then you blocked and your spell didn't resolve. So if you're playing around a counter spell, you play the, the pump first because then if you're like, oh, it didn't resolve, now I know not to block. I get to save my guy. If you're playing around a removal spell, you block first and then you adamant will. If we're going to adamant will and they're going to lightning bolt it in response, they're going to lightning bolt it anyway. So at least we got the block in. That's the only, like, th th it just doesn't make sense to not do that. shit sure <laughs> you got it yeah deal give me a land so I can equip this guy that's rude test track one thanks so much for the sub really appreciate it all right this has got to go now we need a land 
Did not find a land. All right. Mono O3 is over here for our opponent. Pro red, sure. Wait, what did it shoot? It shot itself? What the hell? That's weird. Can I just do this now? Why didn't you shoot the germ? That way you can block and trade. I don't understand. Uh, <laughs> sure. Fascinating. Where the frig are the lands in this deck, man? Hmm. Okay. Well. Germs are small. Maybe you missed. I guess that's a fair point. Fourth land. Hey! Hey, man. What's the creature in the bottom right-hand corner? That's Fibbletip. He's on Totally Lost. Oof. You control a wizard? Nah. Gonna leave my whole world behind. What's happening? You gonna bounce my germ? I got a God's will, boy. You can bounce my germ. Bounce my germ. We we won that game, to the to the surprise of me, unfortunately. Yeah, this is iffy, but I'll keep it. Keep it. If you get tired of playing Magic, you can always play Peach Beach Splat. I have no idea what that is, but that sounds... something. Is that a Mario game? Any two drops? Nothing. Alright. Keep on rolling. Keep rolling, 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 rolling.
prodigal sorcerer? What? Spirit. Spurts. Um, yeah, our hand's good. Are you serious? That's friggin' gross. I'm gonna cry. Holy Jesus. Well, that's not busted at all. Busted makes me feel bad. I don't like it. That's a good one. Oh god, I really need a way to deal with this guy. Boom 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 boom. Always yes and always yield. I thought this guy was a 2-3. Well, and that's sad. William, have a good afternoon, buddy. Um, yeah, we should have played this first, but the problem is that um, we wanted to keep up God's willing, so. Maybe Corona Zealot was actually the better play there. I think it was. So they've drawn at least three cards, I believe. They played the guy in turn three. It is now turn... Six. Sleep. That's amazing. They have drawn four extra cards now. That's probably not going to do it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right. We're not dead. Nah, bro. Sure. Digging a little deeper. <sighs> Blue. Bottom. That guy doesn't do anything for us here. Oh, Lavaborn uses a spirit. That's actually pretty good. What's the clip? Which clip am I playing? There's a lot of them. Mustin makes me feel good. Oh, look at your little oracle. Sorry. 
That's not a, that's not a, I don't have a, I don't have it on the soundboard or anything. No! What does this do? Um, oh, it doesn't flip until the end step. Oh, that's unfortunate. Why doesn't it flip when it just happens? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We're dead on board if they don't block at all, but they're dead if they don't block, so. Sure. That's weird. You could have given your eyes lifelink, which seems better. Yeah, this is actually what we needed to happen. Because now they only have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh. Dang it. No, we have a block, though. One, two, three, four, five, six. Nope, we're dead. All right, never mind. This doesn't fly. None of the spirits in Magic the Gathering actually fly. Worth noting. I mean, we couldn't have blocked these anyway, and it's seven in the air, and this guy we'd have no real recourse to, so... Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yep. Must be nice that you drew an extra six cards this game. <sighs> oh, Christ. Um... Bring in Orem's Thunder. Thunder! Da da thunder. They were drawing off of um, Prodigal Sorcerer and the other thing. Guys? What's guys? I don't even know what guys... Oh, guys of fire? I mean, I think it just kills... Yeah, I guess it kills the two. Yeah, well, I'll just, I'll just actually bring it in and just submit it 41 and I'm okay with that. Yeah, this hand's capable. Gonna leave my whole life behind. Hmm. 
I actually saw Muse last year when they played at BlizzCon. That was pretty sweet. Well, not blocking this guy with my significantly better 2-3 uncommon creature. Hmm, fascinating. Ooh. So we can either play Baleful Leash or Godo this turn. I think it's actually Baleful Leash because then our other spells trigger. Card Imagine Dragons. <laughs> oh, that's a good try though. That makes me wonder, who do you think you are, Josh? Who do you think you are? Thunder. Th -th Thunder. Yep, draw two. That is just a four mana divination. They gotta deal with this Baleful Liege, right? That guy's a threat. Oh, a Nyx Fleece Rammy. Oh, a little Rammy. Boom, 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 boom. I think we're just godoing here. Actually, we should have attacked with both. I don't know why we didn't attack with both. Out of fear, I guess. What are you so afraid of? Always oh, yield to that. Wait. Oh, he cost six. I'm so stupid. Three, four, five. Maybe I just flip this guy. I, I could have sworn. I could have sworn Goto was five. Boy, am I a dummy. And we get to keep God's willing up. Yeah, this is a this is a solid play. Wow, this is this Belfal is just doing some work, dude. This is not a real card. They get to gain one a turn. The best cards video? I don't even know what that is. I haven't written for CFB in like nine months, man. I, I I could not tell you their practices, unfortunately. Create a little monkey. A little monkerino. I wanted to land there. Probably gonna flip this guy now. I kinda wanna, I still wanna keep the gods willing up. Plus this guy's a 3-3. Three, three. Uh, if we use it on here, they could easily double block. They trade this guy and they take one. If we use it on here, uh, they're taking at least two. Yeah, this is fine. Mm -hmm. 
All right, four seems good. I will lose my mana. What up, Dragosi? Good choice on the Logable in 16. Thank you. Thank you. Unfortunately, I, I don't know if it was to my tastes, but still a fun experience. You got it. Cause it's a you, babe. I don't need the courage and the strength I need. Um, probably just the alphaing here. Alphaing. If they want to block and then pump twice, we have pro blue. Start attacking or blocking creature from combat. Sure. Go home, little wolf. You got it. He is no longer a part of this transaction. Alright, sheep there. Two two there. Two two there. Two two there. Okay. God's willing on here. Pro blue. Keep you on top because you're a great, great patron. I'm probably just going to flip this guy. The next time we get to draw Wild Slash, which is fine. Oh, it's a little tandem lookout. Look at that. Would you look out that? Ew, you're skinny. What's going on, buddy? Long time no see. I will take two. Because I cannot block. My rigging crew does not have reach. I was like, as far as I know. Let me check. Let me double check. Man, Balefire Leech is OP. Really? This is what you want to do with your life? Thunder, da, da, thunder. We're gonna go to this guy because seriously, I don't want you pairing that with somebody else. Who do you think you are? Ah, oh, the old rusted sentinel. Old Rusty the Sentinel. Boop, boop, 
This is probably stupid to play pre-combat. Do we have any profitable attack? Yeah, we're definitely attacking with you and you and you. And if you trade, that's totally fine. Keep this Balefire Leash at home. Lightning and the thunder. All right. I mean, you can pump this guy twice and trade. Seems fine. Yep. So basically, to eat a bunch of your guys. Make. Yep. Don't care about that. And pass. And next time we get two combats. That's pretty good. Yeah, this card's really annoying. Maybe we want the wear tear too. Like, we've seen implement Sacred Armory and. Uh, Rusted Sentinel. Yeah, might as well just play this now because if they end up killing our Baleful Liege during combat... Yep, that should do it. Alright. Because we can actually just pass <laughs> and then let them die to the Lava Born Muse. Destroy an artifact. You could be good. I actually kind of like that. I probably like it better than Corona Zealot. Or better than Marshalling Cry, actually. Yeah, at least Zealot's a dude. I don't love this hand, but I do like the, the ability to take out their engine, which is the uh, tandem lookout other nonsense. They're also on the plane. They went to six, so I think this is capable. It also takes out a lot of their early flyers, too, so... And we have all the mana we ever need to cast most of our spells. Yep, that's a dude. Oh, wow. Really? This is how you're going to do me? We'll hope you don't have Tandem Lookout. If so, we're going to give you one. Dragosi, thank you so much for hanging out. Have a good evening. Have a good evening, buddy. Josh, what if you also put like four gut shots in the deck so that you can play them for free? <laughs> Alright, Wing Splicer. Seems good. Oh, Converted Mana Cost is zero though. Eh. Still not bad though. Yeah, I'm just saying it for the Leash Trigger, because then you can play Baleful Leash and then be like, gut shot you for four, gut shot you for four, gut shot you for four. Like, it's a lot of damage.
The reason we played it like that is because uh, they actually have things like Peel from Reality, so I don't want them bouncing the Wing Splicer. I'd rather just get the Wing Splicer off the board. You got it. That is not the most efficient use of a God's Willing. It's obnoxious. But we got a hammer. Guess I'm glad we killed the prodigal sorcerer when we did. Land? Yep. Kill this dude. I feel like we're pretty far ahead, especially with the God will God's willing in hand. Next time we can play Resolute and God's willing. Uh, if we kill Sorcerer first, they still shoot our guy. I guess we could. Yeah, actually, I mean. It's definitely a better option, because then we know which one they shoot, and then we can only attack with the other one if we want to. That definitely probably was the preferred play. Hmm. Fascinating. Ojitai summons again. Seems good. Gonna make your guy come. If we can just untap with this, we got God's willing. I think we're in good shape. But I don't know if we're going to be able to. Oh, well, I think our odds are looking better now because they have to find an answer within uh, two damage. This is nice because now we can get in there with Balefire Leash and they'll probably block. Oh, biscuits and gravy. That's fascinating. This is probably a block and then we try to flip and then they do a thing. No. No. I think this is actually fine. We just play Resolute Survivors and keep God's Willing up. Nope, cancel that. Uh, make him pro blue, I guess. Don't actually care about you. Unfortunately, now I am tempted to rally just because it kills this guy, but I don't think it's... I think I'd rather just have the... Having Resolute on board when we rally is probably just better, right? The gods love you. <laughs> oh, man. 
we do have their favor. Wanna leave my whole life behind. It's funny that Wild Slash or Volcanic Hammer would kill them right now. Yep, that's pretty good. Bounce Bale File Leash. Oh, you're actually just... Oh, you don't have the mana to kick it. That's great. You do have a Wizard, too. So, if, uh, was this the Sage's Dowsing matchup? I don't think so. I think that was the previous. That was the Teamer deck, right? I mean, actually, they're tapped out, so I think it might be a good time to play this and just flip it. I mean, they have to know what this is, right? It's a two for one if they... I guess they block with Seagate Oracle. Yep, you got it. But, worth a shot. All right. Could have played this first and then played this, but then they still have a... It's still a 2-2 at that point, and they could just block it with something else, so... Sure. They're digging. They just go 1-3 here and double 2-2 two, two here. It's just not very good for us, right? But I guess if we play this first... Like, now we can actually attack with... Uh, Resolute as a 5-5. Five, five. I think a pump 1, but I mean, it's still a 2-for-1, which I think is totally fine. If they if you just want to have Seagate Oracle on board, that's pretty okay. Yeah, that's a good deal. So we probably should have exerted here, actually. Assuming that they have to block it, so they're probably just going to double block it. We're not playing 100% uh, as well as we should because there's a lot going on and I'm kind of hungry, but I think we're still in good shape here. That was a situation where we probably should have exerted. We're at 22, though. We have a Belfa Leash on board and a Rally in hand and a corona to flip up so we keep playing our lands because if we hit one more land we can actually flip this and play rally in the same turn five six seven eight yeah so we have seven right now if we hit one more land we can do both and there's no reason to hold the lands so so they can make this guy a two four That's actually insanely good here. Choose your face. And they've used the Zorius charm. They have three cards in hand. Yeah, I think we're just going to... They said good game, so yeah. All right, sweet. That's pretty good. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Check me out on YouTube and Twitch. On Twitch and Patreon is what I meant to say. Both the links are in the description below, and I'll see you guys next time.